Hello again, brothers and sisters in Christ. I just uh, checked the comments, what do you call them, spam, uh, likely spam, and then came back to respond to them because some of them were perfectly fine and I okayed them to come into the regular comment section. So we have another prayer request. Now, for this other prayer request, okay, let me find it again. I got to pull this in the front. Um, okay, it was Aubrey McCloskey said, if anyone here could, would you all say a prayer for my five-year-old daughter, Daphne? She's sick. Fever, chills, stomach upset, and now starting to cough. I trust the Lord, but prayer is very much appreciated. Thank you, and God bless everyone who spares a minute for my sweet girl. Right now, O oh Lord, I command this thing to cease and desist. If this is something... If she's been praying Psalm 91 over her household, we stand firm on your word. And your word says that no plague will enter into our house. Having said that, she might have ate something that had bacteria in it. We know there's been some bad salads we called. Some chicken nuggets we called. Um, <laughs> you know what next? So we're going to pray over this thing. That she's going to, the fever will break and it will come to naught. Um, I'm sure as a mother you know the things to do for these symptoms. And don't let the fever get too high before you call a doctor. But I'm standing on the promises of God that your little girl is going to be just fine. And that it is not COVID. If you are saying Psalm 91, you stand on that and do not let Satan shake your faith. You say or however you do your spiritual armor, you lift that shield of faith and that sword which is the very word of God, quick to divide the lies from the truth and you tell that devil no weapon formed against us will prosper in Jesus name I pray amen and amen and everybody said amen all right you tell your sweet little girl she's going to be just fine and we're all going to go to heaven soon and have a wonderful time together. No more sickness. No more injuries. No more disabilities. No more worries. No more sorrows. It's just going to be all so wonderful. There's no English words I know to describe it. And I haven't even been there yet. But I just know that. So I plead the blood of Jesus over this video. And over this little girl and her mother and the whole family. And I say that no plague enters into that house. And it is not COVID-19. It is something else and it will pass quickly. I pray that in Jesus' name. So I plead the blood of Jesus over this video, over myself, my computer, my internet connection and over each and every one of you and your devices and your households and your internet connection and I say again no weapon formed against us will prosper thus saith the Lord in his word Isaiah 54 17 says that and we can stand on it the word of God is true even though some of them might have been skewed here and there and Satan's tried to confuse people. When you read the whole chapter, 
and pray for interpretation, you'll get it. And look up the original words and all the possible meanings of those words. It can be done and it'll dispel confusion and the lies that people, pastors mainly, and some people on YouTube have learned from previous pastors and now they're passing it on because they believed that man was right. Very few sat under a woman. I did at the church where I was baptized in the Holy Spirit and in water. It was a woman preacher. And I know the Bible does say that women are not supposed to preach over men. But she wanted to have a, a community church that everyone was welcome to without putting a denominational name on it, but where people could get filled with the Holy Spirit and the other gifts. Anyway, that's been a long, long time ago. With that, I'll say bye for now. I will talk to you later.